world first reaction. That's good. I need that on all the time. Hey guys, what's hey. up? Matt Season here, back with another episode we'll the, the, in the tip series for Classic mind. World of Warcraft. This is the second in the series, and in this one, I'll share with you 10 random tips to make your time in Classic Azeroth a bit easier. All right. In this series, I always like to point out handy items in the game. As I said there before in the previous episode, the game as a whole those is much more unregulated, so you have these yep. crazy powerful items even at low level. One such item is a skull of impending doom. Dude, I, I cannot wait, dude, in Classic WoW to have like two whole bags full up of just these cool little items that I can use. I'm going to feel like Batman with a utility bill. I, it's going to be so fucking badass. One of the best PvP items in the game, popularized mm -hmm. by the old Swifty Warrior Tips and Tricks video, yep. this is an offhand item which on use gives you a 60% yep. run speed buff and also deals 100 to 500 damage and drains 100 to 500 mana every two that seconds. That is so for 10 good, seconds. dude. The run speed is nice enough. Look how fast the he is. The real perk here is the damage, which is actually a plus in PvP. You'll find that crowd control lasts for a ridiculous amount of time in classic. It sure does. This is before they limited long CC it chains sure to 11 fucking seconds. Does. You still have diminishing returns, but you can still get polymorph for 30 seconds at a time. If you use this item, however, you dot yourself up essentially and make yourself yep. immune to most crowd controlling effects yep. for a whole 10 seconds. The yep. damage can be a bit rough, but the pros outweigh the cons in many circumstances. And with just a five because you're gonna cool kill them before the damage a matters. Tool in any PvP situation. Yeah, it's ridiculously and also PvE good. as well, but that'll be more rare and niche, I feel. You get it from a short chain started by Feldrin the Lost. We tried to do this on beta, right but we weren't able in the to. Middle of nowhere in the Badlands and it's available for both factions. So never ever vendor this item. A lot of people will make that mistake, not knowing just how powerful it is, which should give you an edge. And here we have a pretty simple one, and that's the Molten Core Shortcut. The Molten Core Raid and Blackrock Depths Dungeon lie at the bottom of the Blackrock Mountain, What's this? usually requiring players to go all the way up this chain What's and this? through the core, and down the next chain, which takes precious minutes. You just there jump down. There does a shortcut, however. You jump down. This is what you do. You jump down, you go in the lava, and then you can jump back up because you're a god at jumping. I used to do this all the time. But half the time, because my computer was so fucking shitty, it wouldn't render the lava fast enough, and I'd hit the ground under the lava and die from fall damage. In the northern part of the mountain, if you go to the edge here and look down, you may see a little ledge down you there. You slide right the fuck With down. With careful aim, you can land right there. Wait, what? And then eat or heal up and then simply backpedal off and you land on the ledge. What? You can also just jump in the lava for no fall damage. Yeah, that's what I do. Does heavy damage in yeah, classics, right there. So spam your jump and get to the nearby ramp. Yep, right and there, dude. during the Christmas event, watch out for those untrustworthy party members laying in wait with snowballs. Now, who would do something like that? Despicable, I could never imagine. If you ask me. Disgusting. As a paladin, one of the difficulties you'll find with your class okay. is that you're lacking the ability to pull enemies from range unless they're undead. Yep. This can be pretty tr troublesome as protection spec and will usually require the aid of party members. The way they can solve that problem is by respecting to holy and then they won't need to worry about it. Uh, are we aff- wait, we're affing? Just a second. Uh, give me a second, guys. Uh, frame drops, get, uh, I'll, I'll pause it here. Okay, uh, how are we doing? We're saved? Yeah, I think that was just a little hiccup. Uh, there's no reason really to get upset about that or worry about it. Uh, okay, we're good. Uh, we saved. Uh, looks like I'm going back and forth on this, uh, on this, this internet thing. What the hell's going on here? I don't know what the hell this is. F again. having a little bit of trouble here. I don't know why. Uh, 700 drop frames. Give it a minute, guys. We're going to see if I can fix this. Uh, okay, still working here. No, I, I'm looking at it. It says I'm dropping frames on, on my OBS. I mean, this isn't something that like the chat is debating me with. I'm, I'm looking at OBS. Okay. Uh, it seems like things have improved. So, yeah, all right, that, that should be fine. Okay, uh, if we have any more issues, I'll just run downstairs and my, tell my mom to stop watching YouTube videos or something. I don't know what the fuck this is. Okay, uh, just a second. 
it's not saved wait what yeah it is it's completely saved everything is fine uh all right uh let's get this done which isn't ideal there do exist items to cover up this weak point though okay. there are many but one of the most convenient ones magic are the magic candles, candles. These drop from the Cobalt Geomancers, located in Elwyn Forest. What the fuck? And it has a long range, and they're easy to farm, since they drop from level 8 mobs. And the drop rate is a generous 20%, so it's pretty quick, too. That's- damn, Another I- Another tip is for those- What the fuck, dude? I didn't even know that. Sorry, I was distracted. I, I want to go back and look at that again. I, I had no idea about that. This weak point, though. There are many, but Holy one of the most shit. convenient ones are the Magic Candles. These drop okay, just a minute. I've got to- I've got to pause here. Uh, I am losing frames right now. Give me a second, guys. Uh, I've got to figure this out. I'll be right back. Oh, God. Here we go again. Here we fucking go yet again. Is he... Is he... Turn it off. Do I have limited time with you guys? Is it over? Is our time? Uh... Oh man. Okay. Okay, how are we doing now? Uh, let's see, are we still dropping frames? Looks like we still are. Uh, and, and this is just for no reason whatsoever. I, I just, I don't even understand why this happens. All right, let me go ahead and look at my task manager, OBS. Okay, uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I, I got it now. All right, let me go ahead. I'm gonna minimize this. I'm gonna close Firefox. I'm gonna reopen it, okay? Uh, just give me one second. <sighs> Fuck, dude, restart router. I don't know if the router's the problem. That's the thing. Is like I, I just I don't know really how to diagnose computer problems anymore. Uh, so like all of this is really kind of just I, I just randomly do things until it works. That's pretty much the way things go. All right. Uh, let's see if I can get this to set up. Okay. Um. Yeah. I I don't really know what I'm doing. Okay. So boss. Wait. No. This this guy just tamed it. Uh. It, it it's fine. All right, uh, let's see. Okay, so this is set up good. All right, and are we dropping any more frames now? Let me open a new window. And it seems like things are okay. Sound is fine, only the video lags, so you can watch the video. Yeah, but people are just gonna spam F and it's gonna ruin the chat experience. Uh, so it, it's just like there's no reason for me to let that happen. Uh, I'm just trying to sort this out first. Okay, uh, just give me a second. Mad Season Show. Let me open this back up and we're going to be fine. Ban F. Well, I also don't want the stream to be uh, dysfunctional, too. I mean, it's not like I want the stream to be bad. All right, let's see. Okay. So hopefully this is going to continue working. Uh, close all the tabs you aren't using. That's what I just did. I closed everything. And uh, hopefully that's going to fix it. So we're at... 1,893 uh, drop frames. Hopefully there's not going to be any more besides that. Ban F. Uh, I, I've thought about banning F, but I also want people to be able to uh, uh, like give me feedback about like it being uh, the stream being fucked up. Still fucked. Uh, shit. Okay. What is this? I have no... What? Why is it so bad? I don't even understand this. Alright, I'm going to try to end task on maybe the, the Twitch app. I have no fucking idea what's causing this. This is so weird. Okay. Um, reset router. I really don't want to have to reset my router, but at this point, I don't know what else I can do. Okay. Um, oh, shit. Okay, let me just get let's let's give it like five minutes here, and I'll see if it's gonna fix itself. So I'll I'll give it five minutes, and if it doesn't fix itself in that time, uh, I will restart restart the router, and hopefully that will work. Okay, guys, it's like five frames every thirty seconds. But the thing is, like, it's just gonna ruin it because people are gonna complain, and like, it just it, it just trust me, like, it's not good. 
uh, it's fine here. Yeah, they, they complain, they get mad. They're like, okay, this is terrible. Like, I, I just, I don't want to deal with that. And uh, it just kind of, it just throws me off entirely. So I, I don't like to have any, like, I, I, if anything goes wrong in my stream, I, it completely tilts me. And so if I know something's going wrong, it's going to fuck up the whole stream for me. And uh, that's just the way it goes. Uh, I, now, guys, I understand that there are a lot of uh, a lot of technical support people in here. I'd like to let you know I don't care about your feedback and I don't care about what you think that I should do. Thank you. I I don't care. I don't want to hear it. I I don't I don't give a shit. You don't know what the problem is. I don't care. All right, uh, and I'm not going to do it either. McConnell said the N word twice. Well, I guess we should just go delete the VOD then, right? Just give me a second. I'll read the rest of these. Uh, eight spicy nuggets after finding out that they're back, and it's all I've eaten for a week straight. Last night, I went and I bought more spicy nuggets. I had dinner at my dad's house, and then I went back over there, and I had dinner after, uh, after that uh, at Wendy's, too. Hey, husband, I'm doing to tell my roommate to come here because my ankle hurts, so I don't want to walk in there. Cosmophile, thanks for seven bucks. I appreciate that, man. Who has Bean on Farolina? Please message me. Bean, thanks for five bucks. I appreciate that, man. Uh, you should give a link to Thanos videos. Well. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I read that one. Thank you very much. Okay, I think that we should be good um no we're not okay uh what is this just reset it dude i for me i don't know no complain about stupidest little things but well the thing is like i i i, I as i said i just like whenever it comes to technical difficulties with my stream i'm really bad at dealing with it i, I just i'm really bad at dealing with it and like solving the problems and so uh it, it's it just completely fucks me up that's why i i, I just I, I just really i'm just bad i'm just can't i just can't deal with it uh honestly that's what it is okay uh it seems like it's it seems like it's basically fixed there hasn't really been that much problem and uh everything should be okay yeah i, I just uh refuse to accept help well yeah of course because i can't i i can't judge the quality of the help i mean like you think i'm just gonna randomly just try different things that some idiot in twitch chat tells me i look i'm not i might not be good at this but i'm not fucking retarded either like of course i'm not going to just randomly do things that twitch chat tells me to do to fix my internet that's crazy okay let's go ahead let's uh, let's watch the video everything does seem to be uh, a little bit better now I'm probably going to get a second line for classic release, and uh, just in case things do go wrong, I can just swap over to that. Uh, it seems like the only smart thing to do. Okay, let's get this done. It's really the easiest thing. No, it's not. Uh, like, I, I'm... Uh, it was actually serious, intelligent, it's logical. Yeah, I mean, people are telling me to do 20 different things. I'm not going to do any of them because I don't know what's going to work and what won't. What's going to waste time? What's going to fuck me up? I'm not going to do it because there's tons of people that will probably give me advice to fuck up the stream just because they think it'll be funny. Um, so I'm, I'm not going to do that. Someone has to be right. Yeah, out of 32,000 people, somebody has to be right, but it also means that most people have to be wrong. And so uh, I don't want to take that risk. Anyway, let's go ahead and let's watch this. members we'll which try this here ideal. there do exist items to cover up this weak point though okay there are many but one of the most convenient ones are the magic candles so These this is why they the want the candles answers the cobalt in the forest and it has a long range and they're easy to farm since they drop from level eight mobs and the drop rate is a generous 20 percent so okay. it's pretty quick too Another tip is for those who want to get the mounts of other races. Okay. For example, maybe you want to get the Night Elf mounts as a human or whatever. Yeah. If that is the case, you'll want to head on over there to their starting oh, areas first this. thing, trying to minimize your XP oh, until you get there. And I did this. that's because in Classic, as you outlevel these yep. quests, the reputation rewards are reduced. Wait, You only wait, get 20% really? once the quest is gray. So the idea here is to get this to the sucks. appropriate race's starter zone as early as possible. Really only getting exploration XP along oh, the way. This is awful. What the fuck? And I do also note that mounts were restricted in Classic as well. This is Not so every bad. Race can ride every mount. Humans, for example, can't ride the Mechano Striders, so also research what mounts you can use and what the which fuck? ones you can't, because I have a feeling that it's going to sneak up on a lot of people. Okay, yeah, I did. I had no idea Another about handy that. The item is the Nightfall Axe, and this will make you a favorite in any raiding team. 
Chance on hit, okay. spell damage taken by the target is increased by 15% for five Listen. seconds. And that's it. It's a I, I don't care about mounts in Classic WoW. But if I could get mounts in Classic WoW, that would be cool. But I actually, I, I genuinely don't even want them. Because they're going to take up space. I don't want mounts to take up space. That's all there is to it. I, I, I don't want to have that happen. And uh, that's really all there is to it. I don't want to deal with it. Uh, no mount bag. Yeah, I don't have bags. Uh, and I don't have bags to hold on to all these mounts. And so, yeah, it's not going to happen at all. What about Baron Rivendir? Yeah, maybe I'd want like a super, super rare mount, like the Baron Rivendir mount. But for the most part, I don't give a shit about that kind of stuff. It doesn't matter to me at all. Because actually content in the game, rather than just collecting garbage, it's not that at all. I mean, if there was a mount tab, I would care about collecting the mounts in Classic WoW. But there's no mount tab. And that means that every single time that I get a mount, that's one space in my inventory that I can't use for something else. So there's an opportunity cost for getting mounts that doesn't exist in the current game. Decent X for DPS, pretty slow, which is what you want. But this is okay. one of the best procs in the game, and yep. it's going to be a must for any serious People use this guild. for a long time. You can use it as a warrior, a paladin, shaman, and hunter. This is the rep paladin weapon here. Uh, I want to let you guys know this. So a lot of uh, rep paladins go through all the theory crafting and all this other stuff about what is truly the best rep paladin weapon. The actual best rep paladin weapon is Nightfall, because Nightfall allows rep paladins to actually be useful to the raid. Right? Because it makes it to where rep paladins actually do bring something to the raid that matters. And so if they're using Nightfall and attacking the boss with Nightfall, it actually gives you a reason to bring a rep paladin to the raid. Now, some rep paladins would tell you this is not true, that maybe somebody else would be better suited to do this. That's not true either. Rep paladins are the best people to use Nightfall because they have no other responsibility. They, they contribute nothing else to the raid. They do low damage. It doesn't matter. Boom. Rep Paladins have just secured... I'm actually helping Rep Paladins here. Rep Paladin just secured their raid spot all the way through Nax. All you have to do is go up to the boss and auto-attack the boss. Same thing as you always do. But this time, there's a purpose to it. And you put the spell buff on it. There it is. It's all you need to do. It's already better to bring a melee hunter with Nightfall. Nobody's going to bring a melee hunter. Listen, like... You're not going to bring a melee hunter. Nobody's doing that. You bring a rep paladin. And there's some discussion on what class this works the best on. Some say paladin for yep. the seal of command procs. Others say shaman for wind fury since you get those extra attacks. Some say hunter for uh, wing clip spam, which sounds like loads of fun. Personally, yeah. I think it's probably the best for off tank warriors if you really want to optimize things since you're not... Listen... That's way too much work. There's no way I'm going to do that. Okay? Like, it's just not going to happen. I mean, I'm going to sit there, and I'll build up rage, and that's it. I am so excited to tank in Classic WoW. You guys have no fucking idea. I am more excited to tank in Classic WoW than anything else. Like, I I'm ready to be my guild's main tank. I'm ready to, uh, you know, loot myself all of the high, uh, high armor value and high value items. And it's going to be fucking amazing. You're going to off tank? I'm going to be main tank, okay? Main tank for the fucking guild. It's going to be easy. You know why? Because it takes one button. Really eating up the raid spot. The idea is that you just switch to Nightfall when you aren't tanking. But whatever you decide, okay. it's a big asset to a raid, and it'll help quite a bit. You're goddamn right. And next, we have a couple more handy items here. One for the Horde, and one for the Alliance. In the last video, we talked about the Magic Dust and the Jungle Remedy. What's the Light of a Loom? Where did you get that? These next items That's a quest are item, right? time rewards. You can't farm them like those other yeah. items, but they're still quite powerful. Same as the Bag of Marbles. I think. The Sticky Glue is for Horde yep. players. On use, it roots a target for 10 seconds. Pretty self-explanatory here. More useful for PvP. Sticky Goo. Sticky situations. Hey, there you get it, is. it from the Solvent Spirit quest, which you get from the Master Vornal in the Duratar zone. Okay. And it's definitely worth having these okay. in your inventory for those desperate situations. For the Alliance, though, we have the Light of Elun. Okay. And this is one of these items that'll be in your bags forever, just waiting and waiting for that perfect moment. It was in my bags for so long that Blizzard made it unusable. I held on to it for so long that Blizzard removed it from the game. 
I think it was either this or the bag of marbles. I always thought there's going to be a time in the future that I can use this and I will want to have this at some point and I waited for that long. And it sounds really fucking stupid, but that's what happened there. Um, yeah, a nice frozen fight. What do you mean? Like, did it? Oh, no. Listen, I, if if I actually am not freezing and people are putting, like, Fs in chat, literally permaban them. Like, I, I'm not going to let people derail my stream. Literally permaban them if, if I'm not actually having technical difficulties and trolling with that. Like, literally permaban them. Uh, okay. Obviously, uh, you know, these items, as the problem with these items is they hold space in your bank forever because you never want to fucking use them. And that's what I've done before. It was a quick freeze. Well, whatever it is, I'm just saying. If people are doing that, uh, literally permaban them. Um, now, if there are actual uh, frame drops on the stream, uh, then don't permaban them, obviously. But uh, w with that, uh, you know, people just doing it randomly. Yeah, permaban. Okay, uh, let's see. Another freeze there. Yeah, I know that. Uh, okay, let's see. Yeah, I just, I don't know why my, my computer is... Uh, let me turn this one off. I'm going to turn that computer off right there. Okay, let's see. There we go. Okay, that one's off. Maybe that'll help. And it just won't have that computer on there. Okay, good. Um... All right, uh, it's not freezing for me, dude. Well, the thing is, like most other people, it is freezing for them. So that's great that it's not bothering you, but that's the minority. Uh, for most people, it, it's fucked up. Okay, just give me a second. Uh, all right. Uh, last, no, I checked to see if I had Wowhead open. Trust me, guys, I, I did. Okay, everything should be good now. Uh, if I have uh, any more real bad frame drops for a while, I'll probably have to restart my router. I really don't want to have to do that, but uh, I, I will do what will give you guys the best experience. Uh, I think that's always my main priority. Okay, let's go ahead and get this started. I still have one today in the current game, in fact. Maybe your raid is wiping, and it's just you and the boss, and yep. he's at 1%. You pop this bad boy, and bam, a legend is created. Yeah, if only. You get this from a two-part quest in the Ashenville zone from Sentinel Valene Star Strike. You want to grab the Elemental Bracers oh. quest, complete that, and then the Mage Summoner quest for this ultra-powerful potion, and just save it for that perfect moment. I'll never Another use oldie, it. But a goodie here is if you feel like you're about to die, yep. is to unequip your weapons. This still works in the current game as well, I think, but it's doubly important for classic. It doesn't matter in current game. So harsh, gold doesn't matter. Gold is much harder to come by in general. 39 of course, gold. When Wait, you die, what? Your equipped items lose durability, and with weapons being the most expensive what? to repair, make the following macros so you can quickly get your weapon in your bags to save yourself some valuable gold. It's actually any. <laughs> I don't need this because my character never dies. So it is, it's funny that, uh, you know, obviously some people do need to use this, uh, the, this, this macro, but I personally don't really need to use it. Whips every piece of gear with durability, so if you're a rogue or a hunter, you can get more use out of this by spamming it after a vanish or feign death. Yep. Of course, when you're in combat, you can only unequip your weapons, though. Do note, though, that resurrection sickness gives durability damage to everything in your bags, so this trick doesn't work with that, unfortunately. One time, I took Resurrection Sickness and Burning Crusade, and I had my entire, like, all my bags filled up with, like, gear, because I had, like, tanking gear, PvP gear, PvE gear, and everything like that. I took Res Sickness, because I, like, died from somewhere, and I got a 200 gold repair bill. I swear to God, I almost cried. Almost fucking cried, dude. Like, I saw that, I was like, Man, it's gonna be like an hour. Like I, I, I realized I just wasted like an hour's worth of time. I was so upset. And uh, 200 gold, that's it. Well, yeah, that's a lot of money, man. What the fuck are you talking about? Thought you never died though? No, this isn't Burning Crusade. We're talking about vanilla. No, I never died in vanilla. I was talking about Burning Crusade. That's different. Listen, like no, they're, they're two completely different things. Like Burning Crusade's got places that you can auto uh, AFK off the wall. It's totally different point that I'm making here is that, uh, <sighs> fucking res sickness. That shit's expensive, man. That's an expensive fucking thing. How'd you get money back in vanilla? 
I'd far, I'd farm small radiant shards uh, in uh, razor fin downs. That's the main way I would make money. I cornered the market, and uh, every fiery enchant in the game was made probably by me. And a classic fail with the game that you'll no doubt encounter has to do with escort quests. What? There are many of these in the game that you start via a quest, and if you're in a group, it auto-shares with any group members, which is good. No problem there. But oftentimes, these quests are chains, and to get the actual escort part, you have to turn in the previous part. So typically, what would happen is that someone would turn in the first part, yeah. get a bit too antsy, and immediately start the escort, oh. and everyone else in the group would be screwed, basically. Oh, yeah. This would happen yep. with the Razor Fen Downs escort yep. with Belnistras. For some reason, he gives you a prerequisite quest before the escort where you just For talk no to reason. him, which confuses people. One of the biggest ones, of course, was with Marshall Windsor in the Blackrock Depths. This is part of the Alliance's Anixia Attunement okay. chain. In the finale, you need to escort him out of the dungeon, which required a lot of pre-clearing of all of the packs, or else he'd just run in and die. Yep. It took forever, and yep. it was the worst feeling in the world when you went to the trouble of clearing everything, and then someone accepted the escort too quickly before- I remember, like, I would do BRD, and somebody would always want to do this quest, and I would be like, <sighs> And, like, sometimes I would actually let the guy out early and get him killed so we wouldn't have to do the escort quest. Because I just uh, I didn't want to deal with it, man. I've had, I've had fucking enough of this shit, dude. How many times do I have to do this? Like, I just, I got him killed, man. Fuck these guys. Like, I got my quest done. I don't want to do a Nyx yet. I looked at that loot. Fuck that shit. I want to get the PvP gear. I want to go to Nax. And, like, I was, like, you know, a fucking idiot kid. So I didn't understand the way that it was supposed to work, right? So I was just like, I don't want to do a Nyx yet. I want to do Nax. That was the only thing I was thinking about. Toxic as fuck? No, it, it's not toxic. It's like, I don't want to do his damn quest, man. That's not toxic. They're not doing my quest. The fuck? Where everyone was ready, and you'd have to do it all over again. Yep. I can't even tell you how often that happened back then, so please, save yourself and your group mates some heartache. Yep. And make sure that everyone is up to speed with the escort yes. quest before you start it. Speaking of keying though, one that you'll need as alliance is the Searing Gorge key. Ring. To get it, you need to kill the we Thunder did Lizard, Margal the we Rager, did this in the Classic Searing Wild. Gorge, and bring back his horn to Mountaineer Pebblebiddy, who's located at the northern entrance of the tunnel. This was such a good so little quest, man. To the All Gorge, these little things were, the they just made the Gorge. game so good. Normally, you'd go all the way through the Badlands and wrap around, but yep. there does exist a shortcut. Head north a bit, up this mountain range up here, and with some careful jumping, as you can see in this footage, you can actually reach the zone. The hell? What the fuck? What the... What the fucking shit? What is what? Oh, what? Oh my god! And from here, you just take out Margol, <laughs> who's located right here on the map, and then grab the Thorin wow. flight path and fly back to Thelsimar. I had no fucking idea. In. That's insane. Something you'll notice with Classic is that you can summon players inside a dungeon if they're not inside themselves. Yep. So you'll have to zone out the instance first to get everyone there, which can be tricky on PvP servers sometimes. Inevitably, that was so bad, you'll get dude. that hunter who forgot that was to buy so ammo, bad. or someone who forgot to repair or pick up like, a quest, and they'll hearth out and ask for a summon. I remember, there are all these little things in Classic, all these little tiny fucking things that were just annoying. They were just annoying. And I, I, I cannot, I, not being able to summon people inside the dungeon, like all the little things that you guys take for granted nowadays, like being able to summon inside of dungeons and all of this kind of shit, like that's the way that it fucking, uh, that's the way it was, it, I, it just, uh, dude, like I, it just drives me crazy. Like doing shit like that in class as well, like everything takes forever. And it's like, I mean, that's what the game is. I mean, that, that's what the game is. But, uh, you know, there are some annoying parts to it as well. A handy tip before they hearth is to summon them. They have a couple minutes to accept it, so this saves the party a run back to the entrance TVCs and go saves well. everyone a bit of time. That's why it's the best. I, I, I do feel like people are a little bit stupid with stuff like that, right? Making things long annoying and inconvenient 
does not necessarily make the game better. This whole thing, how like all quality of life changes are bad, that's such a stupid thing to say. There are a lot of great changes that they've made, like being able to summon people inside a dungeon. How is that really, like, is that breaking the game? Like, not really. Like, half of the quality of life changes, I would just, I would agree, like, yeah, this kind of does hurt the game in certain ways, but not every single one of them. Some quality of cha life changes, but not all of them. No, it can be abused. Not really. I mean, like, it's just, it's all these little things like that. It's like, yeah, it encourages maybe a little bit more PvP, but it's not worth, in my opinion, like, the annoyance. And, again, like, everybody looks at it differently. To me, personally, I, I think that a lot of the things in Classic WoW were just purely annoying. Like, having the mounts, like, if Classic WoW had a mount tab, how would that be bad? I don't really think that it would. Uh, there's a million things in Classic WoW that are inconvenient, and I don't really see any upside to them. That doesn't mean that it's a bad game, but I think that people idealize the game so much that they're blinded by it, and they don't look at all of the obvious negative things that have to do with it. And that's about it. There's ten more random tips for you. No changes. Hopefully no, I don't want the game new, change. Or at least my No, I don't want the game. I'm saying in, in the future. Form. No. If so, like the video if you liked it, and I'll see you in the next one. There it is. Peace. Okay, so I think probably the best tip here. Let's see, what was the best tip? I, I like the Farewell fireball for thing. Now, mortals. I, I really like the fireball thing. Video. See you again soon. Let's see, uh, about summoning into the dungeon, what's next, LFD? No, uh, the thing is, like, if you really think that LFD is the next step after summoning into a dungeon, you're just retarded, so who cares what you think? Uh, th th it's like a certain point, it's just, you're just stupid. Uh, overall, right? These were probably, I would say, pretty good tips. Uh, for the most part, I would say these were definitely pretty good tips. I, have we watched the first one? I, I, I don't even know. Like, let me look and see. Uh, yeah, I mean, just, just a retard. Uh, let, let's, did we watch it or not?